Let's talk about grades. Are you tired of studying for hours on end only to receive disappointing exam results? If so, it might be time to reevaluate your study habits. Hi everyone, if you are new here, my name is Hazal and I'm a fourth year medical student. I run this channel with my best friend Liddy, where we use it to document our lives to becoming doctors whilst sharing some student tips along the way. In today's video, we are going to go through four study habits that you need to avoid to better your academic performance. Lack of sleep is a very common feature amongst many students. However, sleeping is probably one of the most productive things you can do. In fact, a Forbes study found that students who get more hours of sleep are likely to get better grades than students who get less hours of sleep. This might be because during your sleep, you perform three very important tasks. Firstly, consolidation. Sleep helps strengthen new memories you have made throughout the day and remember new information you have learnt. Number two, connection. Sleep helps you make connections between new information you have learnt and prior knowledge you have. Three, cleanse. Sleep helps you clear your mind, rejuvenate and prepare your brain for a new day of learning the following day. So when we sleep, we basically press save on all the new documents we have put into the new information section of our brain. This means that we are ready for a new day of learning the following day. In fact, studies show that if you do not sleep, your ability to learn new information can drop by up to 40%. Lack of sleep can be detrimental to students as it can lead to a decrease in cognitive function, which can make it harder to concentrate, remember new information and make decisions. So if you are planning an upcoming study session, ensure that you get enough sleep before and after the study session to put yourself in the best position possible to consolidate your knowledge and improve your grades. Having a study plan is crucial for academic success and is a habit that top students swear by. However, many students can fall into the trap of just figuring out what to study on the day rather than starting a study session with a concrete plan of what to study and when to study it. Not only does this waste your time, but it can decrease your motivation and productivity and leave you feeling more stressed. Here are a few benefits that come with having a study plan. Firstly, organize. Having a study plan helps you break down your tasks into smaller, more manageable tasks. You can allocate specific time for each subject, topic or task and this can help you stay on top of your tasks and make progress. When you have a study plan, you feel more in control of your studies and you'll be able to manage your time a lot more effectively. Secondly, prioritize. Another benefit of having a study plan is that it helps you prioritize your tasks. This way you can plan to do your most important tasks during the more productive hours of the day, for example, in the morning. Thirdly, consistency. Consistency is absolutely key when it comes to studying and a study plan helps you create consistent goals and work towards them every single day. So if you want to boost your productivity, start by sitting down and creating a study plan for the next two weeks or so and see how much more productive you are. You have a big project to complete or an exam to study for and you keep putting it off till the very last minute. But what you may not realize is that leaving tasks to the very last minute can be detrimental to your academic performance. And this is because completing tasks at the very last minute comes with very big disadvantages. Firstly, increased stress. When you have a task that needs to be completed and you keep putting it off, it can weigh on your mind and cause unnecessary anxiety. This can make it harder to concentrate on any other task and negatively impacts your mood and well-being. Secondly, poor quality work. When you're rushed or under pressure to complete a task, you're more likely to make mistakes, overlook important details, and produce work that is not of a high quality. This can lead to lower grades and negatively impact your academic performance. In fact, a study showed that students handing in their work last minute produce the worst results and leaving your assignments to the last minute can cost a student up to 5% of their grade. Number three, lack of time management skills. Leaving tasks to the very last minute is often a sign of poor time management skills. When you don't manage your time effectively, you are more likely to be overwhelmed and procrastinate. This can make it harder to complete tasks on time and lead to a cycle of stress and anxiety. Even though it is easier said than done, next time you have an assignment due, fight the urge to leave it to the very last minute and instead work on it a little bit every single day and you'll thank yourself a lot for this later on. Many students may find that they are studying for several hours, but they are still not getting good grades. And this is because they cannot remember the information when it comes to the exam. The reason for this is probably because these students are not reviewing the information they have learned. And the forgetting curve explains why this happens. The forgetting curve is a concept in psychology that describes how information is forgotten over time when it is not reviewed or reinforced. The curve shows that there is a rapid decline in memory retention within the first few hours and days 
ways of learning new information. However, you can see that when information is reviewed regularly, there is a slower decline in memory over a period of time. And this is why active recall is so important. In fact, active recall is widely known as one of the best ways to improve your academic performance. Active recall is helpful because it strengthens the neural pathways in your brain that helps you remember new information you have learned. By actively recalling information, you are strengthening the connections between neurons, which makes it easier for your brain to retrieve this information later on. And there are so many different ways you can implement active recall into your study routine. For example, you can do practice questions, flashcards, mind maps, whatever you do, make sure you are regularly testing yourself and trying to remember information you have learnt from memory. It can be very easy to fall into study habits that you think are working in your favour, but for the most part, they are doing more harm than good. So if your studies are not going to plan, rethink your study habits and consider if they are genuinely working in your favour or not. If you've enjoyed this video, check out this video where I discuss how you can catch up on work if you are very behind. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in a new video next time. Bye.